much. That was a lot of fun with that um, black vampire. And now we have something. Come close. We have an interesting thing right now. We are talking to people from a film called 120, and you are the writer. Is that true? It's true. And you are one of the actresses in the film. Yes. So please introduce yourselves. Yes. I'm Matthew Rod. The uh, author of the screenplay of the film. You're 20. author of the screenplay of the film. The screenwriter. That's oh, all you call it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that. That's good for Sorry. me. Oh, that's I like it. That's a witty, witty man. You can hit me with the microphones. That's why we have them. Oh, <laughs> no, I, have, I have a magic wand. I, can, I have tons of things that I can use, but I wouldn't hit you for that. You can turn me into my rivet gloves for a reason. Anyway. So, um... <laughs> And, and you've written a bunch of novels, too. Yes. I've seen a few, and they are so cute. Thank you. I mean, they really are. I mean, I love the books. you want to rattle up a couple of the titles? Um, well, my first book is called Never Mind the Goldbergs, and it's about a 17-year-old Orthodox punk rock girl who stars on a, on a Hollywood sitcom. Um, and, and the timely one, because this Saturday is Yom Kippur, which is the day that you, like, which is the day that Jews like going and confess all the bad shit that they did all year? Or are we allowed to curse? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Oh, this is the internet, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I love when religious people curse. It's like, it's, it's perfect. Thanks. It's good. Yeah, so Young Kipper is a day. I encourage more people to do that, but anyway, go ahead. Yeah, but you don't on your record, you said. Oh, well, this particular one. All right. But it does have to. All right, yeah. back to you. Young Kipper, my, my second book is called Young Kipper a Go-Go, and it's a memoir about all the bad things that I did. Nice. So Young Kipper a Go-Go. Yep. So what is it, like go-go dancing on Young Kipper? Well, it's named after the whiskey a go-go, but I just thought it sounded funny, but it's also... So it's like after you repent, you dance? <laughs> <laughs> or wow. <laughs> what? Like what? Well, it's like a swig of whiskey. Or that. All right. And and um and all of these are are in Barnes and Noble yep. or any bookstore, any library. Yep. So how many have you done? I've done four. And Actually, five, so that's two. Um and then I did a this like thoughtful personal novel about supermodels who know kung fu, and What's that's the called Candy in Action. Ah. And um Losers is my newest one. I've seen them and um. They're all YA books, right? Some of them are YA, some of them are not. Don't YA? Them are definitely not. Why? Oh, oh, it's not? Is what? that like an adult book? It's about like me dating this lesbian stripper. It's... Oh, I love it. I love YA books, though. If anybody knows what a YA book is, it's the young adult. Those are my favorite books because I can read them and sit and read from beginning to end, and I don't space out on a page and have to read the same page over and over again. YA books are my favorite. When my Why am I were... chasing this all around the page? Yeah, when my kids were growing up, I mean, I, those were, I, I love them so much. Awesome. So that's why I'm a fan of yours before I even knew you, because you write YA books. Well, I, thanks. I love them. On behalf of my genre, thanks. I love your genre. So we're going to talk a lot more to you, but let's just talk to this adorable person for Hi. a moment. Is that your name? Um, my name is Cam Dempsey. And and you are a star in the movie. You're the badass. <laughs> I wouldn't say I was a star. I wouldn't say she's definitely a badass. She is a badass. I get to drive a, a falling apart 1985 Firebird, which is pretty badass. It was. I had, I had one of those. You did? Trans Am, actually. Nice. It's so amazing. There was a there was a car phone in it the size of this micro the size of your wand. Right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wow. wow. So, how did you guys meet? Like, how did you, how did, is that a funny story? I'm trying to remember this. Okay, it's okay. funny. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, you were there. Okay, so I'm a bartender. And, wait, wait. Uh, well, when I met them, I was bartending in Park Slope. Okay. Um, right now, wait, I'm bartending wait. downtown. Uh, it's called the Taqueria. closed. Now, oh, I'm opening, okay. um, working in a new place called the Growler down on Stone Street. Okay. But um, you can take your... To go, which is pretty sweet. Oh, we were just talking about so, who's to go. Because yeah. our next guest is was from living in New Orleans for a while. Oh my gosh. I can, never, well, you can get a lot to go. Who's to go? Yeah. So, yeah. I, so I'm sitting there on a Sunday. Nobody, nobody's in my bar. It's a Mother's Day. And these two fine gentlemen are sitting at the bar. Uh, um, wow. Matthew and the producer, Berwin. And they're just chatting away, chatting away. I'm nosy and I have bartender ears. And so I hear wow. things and I'm like, 
oh, what are you guys talking about over there? And they said, you know, we're talking about doing a movie. And, wow. um, you know, they gave me their information. And Virgo was like, if you want to audition, just, you know, email me. And then he left his phone there. And I chased him three blocks just wow. to get my phone. Just so he could receive that call. Right. <laughs> exactly. 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 <laughs> wow. Genius. It's so weird. And then you got the part. Yeah. Now, did you get the part you auditioned for? I didn't really know what I was auditioning for. Right. Did you know she would be that character? I I actually think you were auditioning for a more minor part. And and we, like, had... I am just no. So, like, what would be a... What, what part? I'm... The, the movie is... You want to give the synopsis? Should I? If you want. Unless you want... I could. Or you could. I want to... I hear your version. Okay, my version. See, the thing is, when you're a writer, you, you live in this like, know, world where nobody rejected. else, where, where you don't have contact with anyone else. So when someone starts talking about your thing, you're like, wait, you know about that? Yeah, I do. Like what, you were on my computer? No, I saw the <laughs> film. I saw 120, and um, and it's a film about Obama and kids and their, their faith that he kept saying, change, 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 make change. And they believed it. And then there's that little Japanese adorable punk oh, yeah. that just steals the film. I mean, you steal it too, but she is, when she's on screen, it's really, really a happy moment. Like, you wait for her. The other thing that I love about this movie is the fashion. Every, every person wearing, whatever they're wearing is great. That room, that bedroom of that girl, I, I want that bedroom. <laughs> and um, I, I still think about it. And um, her clothes were amazing. Her hair, the scene when she turns punk is amazing. Everything is so it's cute. Touching. So the movie is a Japanese girl who had a lot of misfortune, finds Obama and wants to believe, travels to go check him out from Virginia to D.C. The little rich kid comes in, and he's adorable, too. And then you guys are just like the, the, I went to University of Maryland, so I lived in D.C., so that whole area was so real to me. It was the epitome of Maryland, to Virginia. It was really you guys, especially. You and the guy were the epitome of so many people <laughs> I knew, of local people from that town. And um, so they go and they try to, like, reach out, change, 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 and they are kids, and then they realize, like, it's all a bunch of shit. And um, friendship is better than government any day. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's so awesome. You do not have another version? I want to put friendship is better than government any day on my like, business cards. <laughs> oh, that's, I like that. Thank you. All right, everybody, put that on your walls on Facebook, yeah, everyone. Friendship is better than government. <laughs> and that's what I got from the movie. Yes. And I think that that movie would be, I mean, I spoke to Berwin. I, I, I hope we can make it happen. I mean, we want to do something with the movie because Daisy Rock is involved in the movie. Mm -hmm. I'm a musician sponsored by Daisy Rock. I'm playing here tonight with my Daisy. Oh, nice. Awesome. Um, Daisy. I love Daisy Rock. Berwin is a doll. I fell into him by no accident because I don't believe in them. And um, and you sang Bobby McGee. I want you to sing it. Can you do I it? Can't. You know, you can't? Take her. No. I will. Oh. We'll take a break and we'll make her. But, 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 you know, the first time I ever did karaoke, I, I chose Mercedes Benz. That's the one I did. Oh, that's, that's the one. That's the one I need. Mercedes Benz. All right, but do you know what? How dumb am I? I go to karaoke, look through it, pick that, and they put it on. There's no music. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. yeah. I know. That's why I loved you so much. I was like, oh, my God, that's my song. Oh my God. Dumb, so, so. I know you don't even need music for it. So we're going to take a fast break, and then we're going to come back, and we're going to see gonna, how much we can pull out. We're going to pull a song out of her. Yeah. Right. We're with who? You're 